An underspin jig can be a deadly bait for bass and crappies. The extra flash and vibration from an underspin can make your bait stand out like an injured minnow in a giant ball of bait fish. But there are three mistakes that can quickly ruin your underspin's action, so be sure to keep these in mind. First, make sure your trailer's body diameter isn't going to interfere with the blade. You can put the lure out on a table and pull the blade straight behind to get a rough idea of how much room you have. Notice how much room this blade needs to spin properly. If you add a trailer that's too fat, the blade will get caught on the trailer and will not spin. You can try jerking the lure to get the blade to move, but it will get stuck over and over again until you either downsize your trailer or use a different underspin that holds the blade further away. Another thing to watch for is how buoyant your trailer is. A more buoyant trailer will cause your lure to ride on a downward angle. This will allow more room for your blade to spin, but it also results in a less natural swimming appearance. Watch for our upcoming video where we compare a bunch of popular underspin and trailer combinations. Lastly, some paddle tails will create a bit of suction behind the tail when they enter the water. They can pull an air bubble down with them and the bubble will prevent the tail from moving until you get rid of it. Look how the action increases as the bubble slowly breaks off of this tail. You can get rid of that bubble by just jerking the bait a couple of times at the beginning of each cast. Each cast that you have a stuck bubble could be wasted because you're losing a key piece of the lure's action. I hope this helps you catch more fish on these neat lures. Good luck out there and we'll catch you next time.